Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Mike, and um, today I want to do a video on some uh, seedlings I have not gotten to yet. Now these are some uh, seedlings I got. I got seeds from locally, from a couple of sable palmettos. Now, kind of weird because sable palmettos do not do very well um, generally in this area because of the fact that it gets very dry in the summer. And uh, especially in areas where they're not kept up, you know, outside of, say, a botanical garden or something where they're, um, where they're able to be monitored. Uh, these were just kind of growing out near a, was near like a light rail station in some very dry soil. So uh, I was kind of surprised to see them. And I kind of narrowed it down to a, a Texas sable because of the fact that they can handle the droughts so well around here and the fact that they are much larger than a a regular uh, sable palmetto. These have much larger costa palmate fronds, uh, beefier looking trunk, and um, after looking up some information online I pretty much narrowed it down to the uh, Texas sable, also known as a sable mexicana or sable texana. Um, I just started calling them Tex-Mex palms. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if anybody uses that term, but I just started doing that for fun. And this one right here looks like it's starting to maybe get its first fan frond, but um, yeah, no, we'll see. These these seeds I got, these two right here, I got the seeds in early 2018. And um, so these are about two and a half years old. Following year, I got some more seeds from the same trees. So these are about a year and a half old. Um, these actually came up, I believe, on their own in the, in the open pot. I put them in the baggie, but they weren't really doing much. And then they started to come up out in the open pot once the uh, weather warmed up. I just put them out front. And uh, they popped right up, and then these I grew, these started in the bag, and then I moved them onto a pot and set them outside, and these are really the only ones I have not had to bring in from out of the sun. The other sable palms I have are not doing very well in the full sun and heat here. Um, they love the heat, but uh, they have not done well in full sun, so I put them out back where they have more of a filtered, more filtered greenhouse sort of light. So. And they seem to be doing much better back there. These I have not had to move out of the sun. They've done very well in the uh, full blast heat and sun this summer. So uh, if you do live in a drier area where it does get cold, uh, these should do pretty well. These are a, a solid zone eight and above palm. You can get away with them in zone seven. Uh, you'll just have to protect them from time to time, uh, you know, during cold snaps. So anyway, um, that's about it for these. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick look at them. Oop, let's not, let's not start breaking anything here. And uh, let's get another look here, trying to give some better light. As you can tell, even these uh, strap leaves are pretty, pretty large. Yeah, this one looks like it's gonna be a fan frond. And then this one's still kind of young. There's that one right there coming up, a little strap leaf. We'll see what it does. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will be back soon with another video.